What's up, everybody? Stray13 here from BandFromTheVideoStore.com. Uh, I really fought myself about reviewing this movie today. But uh, I think if you need to be disturbed, this would be the movie to disturb you. Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. It uh, stars Blanche Baker from uh, Sixteen Candles. She plays a woman who um, ad adopts her two nieces after... Um, they died in a car accident in the 1950s, and it's actually based on a true story. Now, uh, she already had three kids ahead of time, and they're all boys, and they're bastards, and, you know, they're all, like, prepubescent and horny and messed up. And now she, she adopts a you know, 14 and 15 year old girl who's just beautiful. I mean, just, like, not in a creepy way, just, you know, pretty and soulful and intelligent and her little sister who has braces on her legs from polio and she kind of lets the kids do whatever like her kids do whatever they want um this movie is very flowers in the attic-esque a lot of people don't know what that is you gotta check that out too because that's pretty messed up but uh <clears throat> yeah so it starts off like she just you know, favors the boys, and the boys kind of, like, get their way around the girls. And, uh, the boys, being the little bastards that they are, start kind of getting touchy-feely with her. You know, like, grabbing her boob while they're tickling her and stuff like that. And if she acts up, or fights back, her little sister with polio pays for it. And soon, like, it becomes, like, this huge game in the neighborhood. Everybody picks on this girl and beats on her, and stabs her, and burns her, and cuts her and it, it, it escalates from there and I think you know where I'm going with that um I actually watched this movie and I don't give a fuck what you think of me I actually lost sleep of it or uh, after it I mean it was like I remember watching it that night and just not being able to sleep just cause I knew like the depth of humanity that uh you know, it's possible. I mean, it, it happened. It happened in the 1950s. And uh, if you want more information on that, you can look it up yourself. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it, this movie just, it, it just it spirals out of control because no one is taking this girl's side except for the boy next door who won't do anything. He won't go to his parents about it, his, you know, like, or, you know, the neighborhood kids. They all gang up on it, and, you know, we've all dealt with bullies and stuff, and it just kind of became a game to hurt this girl, you know? It became, you know, she they kept her down in the basement, and she slept on a box spring with a, you know, a blanket, and that's it, and they didn't feed her, and this, this all happened over, the, you know, a summer, and uh, I think it's actually based on a book. I have not read the book, and I heard the ending of the book is different than the ending of the movie, so if you want to check that out, check that out, too. But, um, I just, after watching this, I really felt bad about owning it. Like, it was six ninety nine at Best Buy on Blu-ray, and it was a blind buy. So, uh, I don't really regret buying it, but, uh, and I don't really want to give this a rating of good or bad. But if, if you want to be disturbed, you know, rent it, or watch it, buy it, you know, you can find it cheap. Um... That's it for you know. That's it for this review. I'm done. I can't. I don't even want to talk about this movie anymore. This is Stray Thirteen. You've been banned from the video store. Check out bannedfromthevideostore.com now. Out.